Welcome back to the most news in the morning. President Obama hopes his speech that he'll deliver in just a few hours will generate support for immigration reform. The president wants what he calls a comprehensive approach to fixing the system, and he says Democrats can't do it alone. Joining us to offer both sides of this hot-button issue from Washington, Democratic Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez of California, and on Capitol Hill, California Republican Brian Bilray, also of California. And Congresswoman Sanchez, let me start with you. You know, two wars replacing General Stanley McChrystal in Afghanistan, the struggling economy, the oil spill, a lot on the president's plate right now. Why bring this up now? Well, first of all, it's long overdue. It uh, has been a long time since 1996 since we had a reform bill. We need one because, first of all, it is about the economy. When the economy turns around, we will need more workers than the ones that we have in the United States, so we have to get ready for that. And we should have a process that works where people actually can come and work mm -hmm. here. Secondly, it's about tearing apart our families. Uh, usually it's a mother who gets taken away from her children and gets deported. Her children are left behind, and that's not a good thing. That's not what we stand yeah. for. But more importantly, as the vice chair of the Homeland Security Committee, mm -hmm. I will tell you, I have limited resources. We have limited resources to really train those resources on terrorists who, who want to do us harm. And so we need to be able to sort of get rid of that haystack of other people who are coming here in an illegal way right. so that we can uh, 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 open the door to those who want to come and work. We know who they are. And, of course, we've been doing that by trying to fortify our borders, both on the northern, the southern border, but also all our maritime borders, all our coastal mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. is also a subject to that. Uh, Congressman Bill Bray, uh, all, all of these laws that are being passed in the state and local level, the state of Arizona, SB 1070, a uh, law was recently passed in Fremont, Nebraska. Immigration is supposed to be a federal issue. Does the federal government need to step in now and do something about it? Yeah, John, and, and they should. They should not make the same mistake they did in 96 of rewarding people for being here illegally, but call on everybody to work together on the bipartisan bill, Schuler bill, which had over, you know, 230 supporters the last mm -hmm. Congress. The president should abandon the concept of going back to the 86 law and trying to do amnesty again. Let's get do something we can all agree on. Let's concentrate on the employment magnet. That's what's driving it. Let's create a simple system, require everybody to use the E-Verify, a program the president has agreed for, not only for the federal government, for all the contractors. Let's do what we can do together right now, rather than holding out for another amnesty program. We can do this. So, so, Bipartisan so. efforts have been done, and people on both sides of the aisle agree. Let's concentrate on the employers. Let's concentrate on a simple system of verification. And only after we've controlled illegal immigration should we be talking about any, any of this other stuff that's being piled in and holding the process hostage. The Congressman Bill Bray, do you believe that if you implemented the E-Verify system and you put the onus on uh, employers not to hire undocumented aliens, that these people will simply go home? I mean, what, what do you do with undocumented aliens who are already in this country? Well, first you do is you stop paying them to stay here. Second of all, you do not tell the world that you're going to reward illegal immigration. I, I spend most sure, of my sure, time but, in Latin but, but, America. But, but, I just but, came but again, back from there. But again, what do, you do? do they go home? What do you do with them? That the great majority of them will return down there. But we address that issue after we've secured our borders and our workplace. Because while you're talking about, talking mm -hmm. about rewarding illegal immigration, how do you expect people around the world to expect that we're going to enforce it when we're openly discussing that we're going to reward 12 to 20 million people with a permanent residency, if not citizenship, because they broke the law. You can't ask people not to come here when you make that kind of announcement. Okay, on this issue of border security, the president says he's going to send 1,200 more National Guard troops down to the border. That's not good enough for Arizona Governor Jan Brewer. Now, she's up for re-election this year, so it's a hot-button issue for her. Here's an ad that she's running. Let's take a look at that. He promised that we would get word from his administration on what they were going to do to secure the border. Well, we finally got the message, these signs. These signs calling our desert an active drug and human smuggling area. This is an outrage. Washington says our border is as safe as it has ever been. Does this look safe to you? And she has, uh, Governor Brewer met with the president. That's where she got assurances of greater border security. They got some signs. Is, is the president doing enough on border security? Well, let me say that this Congress and the president have uh, grown, for example, our Border Patrol from 4,000 people 
five years ago to 20,000 Border Patrol now. A majority of that is put on our southern border, even though our terrorists have come, all known terrorists that have come across, have come across the northern border or through our airports. Uh, secondly, we have more assets, meaning, you know, those planes that fly around uh, that take a look at what's going on there. I've got more stuff from our DOD, from our Dep Department of Defense. I have things that I can't even talk to you about that we are doing on the border. Okay. So this whole uh, insinuation that somehow we have not done anything is incorrect, including, by the way, now we are stopping traffic before it goes into Mexico to get cash and to get the the guns that are sold from the 7,000 gun shops okay. that are within five right. miles of that Mexican border. Con there are a lot of things we can do. We have also done quite a bit. Congressman Bilberry, final word to you here. Do you agree is enough being done on the border? No, to enough is, is being done. I was born and raised on the border. The fence is working, but we're never going to control the border until we control our employment facilities that are the draw. If you eliminate the employment facilities, you reduce overwhelmingly the majority of people will be crossing that border. But we got to be tough enough to be willing to tell our friends, sorry, mm. big employers, you're not going to be able to continue to exploit this cheap illegal labor anymore. But until we're willing to tell our friends no more cheap labor, you're not going to be able to control that border. You're playing a shell game. We need to control all the employment facilities in the United States. And then you'll see the border problem be reduced down to the drug smuggling problem that we can manage. All right. We'll be looking forward to the president's statement today. Uh, Congressman uh, Bill Bray, Congresswoman Sanchez, good to talk to you this morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you very much, John. Well, just